Hi, and welcome to another Java Enterprise tutorial. In this presentation, we're going to talk about integration technologies, or how you can use your application to service other clients that you have not programmed. So back to our view of all of the end layers that we're dealing with, integration is the ability to take your business service and provide it to a different presentation layer. So we're thinking about other people that are creating websites and mobile apps primarily and they can use your server and your service. So the idea is that your application can be a customer or a server to other people. So for instance, Facebook opens up their API so you can write applications to run on their platform. You can write your program in Java or JavaScript or other languages even though Facebook might not be using the same language. So we're going to be building the blue part on the right side, a Java application that will provide the service to other clients. So for instance, if we set up a weather service, we would provide the name of the city and the degrees of temperature or forecast data. Other people then could write their own little JavaScript app or their mobile app that would use that data and create their own service. So there's always a service in between, a database, a service, and then the presentation could be on a different kind of device. Here's another example of a small phone app that would be using a address book. Lots of companies provide services through JSON and XML. Facebook, Twitter, Amazon, almost everybody out there that's willing to share their data is using REST services to do it. And so it's an extremely important skill that you should have on your resume. So why do we keep calling it REST services? It's not because the server is at rest or anything. So rest is just an acronym for representational state transfer. It means that you can handle all the four CRUD operations in a database, reading, writing, updating, and deleting. So you can see it's running on the HTTP protocol. So we're going to be testing it in our web browser. So a web API is a option that companies open up so that you can use their data. So you can build your own custom app that uses Instagram or Google or YouTube videos embedded directly into your application. JSON is the default format that people use these days. JavaScript Object Notation is what JSON stands for. And so here's what JSON looks like. You're probably going to need a plugin in your browser. So this website, prettyprint.com, will help you make your JSON data look good. There's other ones that you can use as well. So here's a picture of some of the code that's going to be used to build an app. We'll do that in detail in the next video. We're going to have to configure our JBoss server to be able to run JSON services. So uh, we'll be looking at this file called webxml2. Here's another reference page for when we get to developing our classes that work with JSON West ser REST services. And we'll refer back to this when we get to the coding section. As soon as you start creating APIs, you're going to have to test them. You can use them in your browser, but you can also test to see how well they work with a program called Postman. It's uh, at getpostman.com. So download that and take a look at their tutorial page after you create this uh, JSON service, and you'll understand why it's an important program. All right, so let's get coding. We're going to create something that looks like this here on the screen. You can see that I have XML data here, and then I also have JSON data providing the output for all of the items in my database. So let's get started coding. 